This is a pivotal moment in my shop's history. Brian Customs from Minnesota, now of Minnesota, made this for me 20 years ago when we lived together. It's been down for quite some time, almost a year and a half, two years now. It's finally going back up on the shop, so this is a big deal to me. I hope I put that up the right direction. It's a small chance I didn't. I might need to give you a hammer. You might have to hammer out the corners and stuff. Good. God, you're much bigger than I am. Yeah. All right. Makes me happy. We've worked really hard for this. It's been like a year and a half of nonstop working really hard for this. It's a big deal. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what are you taking out, Bobby? What are we taking out? Ah! What are we doing exactly? Grab some of that shit over there. Hey, what the? Why is that in the middle of the fucking floor? What the hell did you do? <laughs> Oh God, are we doing this? <laughs> oh, we're doing oh, this. Oh, fuck yes, let's go! Much faster. stuff on the trail and get it out of here. So, are you champion right now? Are you filming right now? Oh, all right. Like right this second? Oh. Well, so in the last 20 minutes, we pulled the whole cab off the truck and we have a bare chassis now we're trailing her back over here with the tractor. And that's all I have to say. Yeah, that was it.
my truck is a lot, but the guys over here are doing the quad cab right now, and I had a vision, and I let them run with what they were thinking, and we kind of bounced ideas back and forth, and it's so much better than I'd imagined. I mean, everything, I mean, it's perfect. So, I mean, it really, it's awesome when you have like a bunch of people that always, all of them have talent, and you're not just like one guy saying this, this, this. Like, all these guys are really, really good at what they do, and uh, we can bounce ideas back and forth, Holy crap, we can come up with some awesome stuff. So, this is rad. Hi, I'm Booter. <laughs> I've known Josh for a while through the rat rod and stuff, you know. I myself have a rat rod, but I don't have it with me. But I do uh, my auto body collision technician by trade. And I usually come and help Josh line up all the doors and make things like that. So, we're taking a part of a cab and six doors to extend it to make a crew cab truck for, I believe it's a Dodge cab we're working on here at Bernie Fest. We have a truck cab that's normally a two-door truck and we're converting it to a four-door. And on top of that, the rear doors, we're changing the length of the rear doors to accommodate the whole fit. And we're also using two parts of two opposite side rear doors to use to make a square door versus a front door that has a triangulated front and a square back. Because it do a bunch of anything, we're gonna have to do something with that so we can get the crossover across the back. Because <laughs> we can make it longer until it just touches the floor for now and then cut it off later. So we have something to set it here so we can angle all this. And maybe we can slide like a rod, cut all this off level square, slide a piece of like two by in there or some shit or whatever by in there so we can clamp it to this so we can be able to hold it and make it all nice up here. Because if we can't set it down on the bottom, this is all gonna be a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> 